So this question starts off by providing us with this equation here. It goes on to say, in the given equation, k is an integer constant. If the equation has no real solution, what is the least possible value of k? So I'm going to start off by simplifying this. And I'm going to simplify by distribution. So x times xk would be x squared k. x times negative 56 would be negative 56x. And then I have equals negative 16. I'm going to add the 16 to both sides, leaving me with x squared k minus 56x plus 16 equals 0. And no real solution when you have a single equation with a single variable. I mean, we have a k here, but we know that k is a constant, so we only really have one variable in x. So anytime you see no real solution for that, that means that there are imaginary solutions. And the way we really deal with this is by use of the discriminant, which tells us that b squared minus 4ac, when that is less than 0, we get no real solution. So for us, which is why I put it into this format, for us, our a value is actually going to be this k right here, right? So let me just make sure all this is clear. The quadratic equation looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. What we have is x squared k minus 56x plus 16. This is going to be equal to 0, so equal to 0. I don't want that to look like a negative 16. That is just a positive 16. So our a value is k, right? That would be the coefficient that I could have written in front of the x, the x squared. Our b is negative 56, right? Because that's in the same position. And our c is positive 16. So I take those numbers and plug them in. So I have b squared, that would be negative 56 squared minus 4 times a, which is k times c, which is 16, and we want that to be less than 0 in order to have no real solution. I go to my calculator, and I see that negative 56 squared is 3,136. Negative 4 times 16 is negative 64, so it becomes minus 64k is less than 0. I'm going to subtract 3136 from both sides. So it's gone here. Let's move up here for more space. So I'd have negative 64k is less than negative 3136. I divide by negative 64. I have k. Whenever you divide by negative, when you're dealing with inequalities, the, the um, inequality symbol switches direction. So instead of less than, it becomes greater than. And negative 3136 in my calculator divided by 64 is equal to 49. So k is greater than 49. So the least possible value of k actually has to be 50, right? Because if k is greater than 49, then the smallest integer, k is an integer constant, the smallest integer it can be is 50. So 50 is the correct answer here.